Hi guys, in my last video I showed you how you can create a GraphQL web server with the Dino and MongoDB. What I didn't show you is how to properly manage the credentials, because right now if you have these values here, the problem you may face with is that you can commit them to the source repository. Another problem that you have is um, some magic strings. So ideally you want to avoid this situation and you want to have them somewhere in like a credential management system or a separate configuration file. So in this video I'll show you how it can be done properly. What we are going to do is uh, to use the .env dino package. So the whole idea of this package is that it allows you to get the configuration values from the env file. So all we need to do is just to get this line and then to call the config function. So let's copy it, go to the code, and here I'm going to create a file, let it be a config.ts file. I like to name it in a different way, like scfg. Then let's export config like this. Now we need to create a .env file. So we're, we're going to put all of our values so, for example, this one, it could be mongo host. So, let me get all of these values. Now, whenever you have these values in the end file, you need to get them from here. So, what you can do is uh, you can import your config from the config.ts file. And... Um, Ideally, you'd like to create a separate type and have the strong type for the properties you have here. Right now we don't have it, so no worries, we can just use the config and replace the values like config uh, mongo host. It is going to be user admin, password and database. This is it, let's make sure that it works. So we type dino run slash a mod ts. So we open the browser and um, we query and we see the positions. So let's insert another one, query, and we see the result. So in my opinion, this approach is way better because you will not be in a situation when your credentials are committed to the source code. However, whoever gets the source code will need to set up and to add configuration file. That's okay. Anyway, it's also way better to have all your configuration values in a single place instead of searching for it and changing them in the source code. From now on, if you'd like to add more configuration values, all you need to do is just to add them here, then you can input the config wherever you need, like this one, and continue using it. 